Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. You're welcome to this Daily Fountain Meditation for this Saturday, 14th of May, 2022. Today's meditation is titled, I will praise you, O Lord. I will praise you, O Lord. And the text prescribed for us is Psalms number 57, verse 8 to 12. Psalms 57, verse 8 to 12. I want to crave your indulgence. Please let us pray. Mighty Father, we thank you because of today and the gift of this day. Today, the 14th day in the month of May, is a blessed day. We thank you for life, for our health, and for all the brethren who are watching. We ask that in the power of your spirit, the power of your word, bless your church, bless your people, in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, O oh God, as we share in this meditation, your spirit will speak your mercy to us. And you will incline our hearts to praise you in every condition we find ourselves. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Brethren, once again, you're welcome. Please, I want to beg of you, join me as we read the text set for us, Psalms 57, verse 8 to 12. I read from the NIV version. Awake, my soul. Awake, help and lay. I will awoke in the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The story here in this text is probably having its origin from 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 1 to 22. It is the story of David being pursued by his master, the king, King Saul, seeking for his life to kill. And David ran away to some cave where he hid himself and was hiding with his army. And Saul kept pursuing Incidentally, while he was pursuing David, he came to the very cave where David was hiding. And God gave Saul to David on a platter of gold to kill. But David will not raise his hand to kill the king because he says, He is the Lord's anointed and I cannot touch a man whom God has anointed. And therefore, David spared the life of Saul. In that story, we heard that while David spared his life, the soul's life, Saul left and David followed him and shouted behind him, Is that you, the king? And the king turned and he said, The Lord handed you over to me to kill, but I spared your life because I cannot touch the Lord's anointed. Friends, in the joy of God serving, saving him, that is David. He composed this song and sang it in praise of what the Lord has done for him. Therefore, God deserves our praise. God deserves our shout. God deserves whatsoever that comes from inside of us to praise him. What is God doing to you? Do you see it? 
as coming from God. Some, when God has delivered them, they think it is one juju or one talisman that they have been given that is protecting them and giving them that strength. This servant of God, David, did not see anything coming from that angle. Rather, he saw God doing that protection, defending him. How many times did Saul look for him? How many times did Saul seek for his life to kill? And each of the times, God delivered him. I want to assure you, this same God has the potent power to deliver and to save your life from whatever machination and schemes of the evil ones, from whatever the enemy is planning against you, God is able to deliver you. Imagine somebody who has served the king. One would have thought that the king would be happy, the king would be pleased with the services of David to him. Instead, he turned against the same man who served him. Have people turned against you? Did you do some good to somebody? And that person, instead of thanking you and appreciating you, he would rather turn against you. Did he cook stories against you? Was there any frame of, 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 of character assassination against your life? Don't worry. The Bible assures us today that God fights your battles. God is the one who is fighting anybody who trusts in him. That battle he takes upon himself and he fights as we see him fighting for David here. And because of this understanding, for, uh, soul, uh, David in verse 8 says, Awake, O my soul, awake with a harp, with a lyre, and I will praise the Lord. I will sing adoration to him. Praise is the expression of respect and gratitude as an act of worship to somebody superior to you. And that is what we saw David giving to God. He believes God is in heaven. He holds authority on earth. He holds authority in heaven. He holds authority on the, on, in the realms of affairs of men. And therefore nothing would man do to him. So he called on his soul himself and said, Awake, my soul. Awake, my soul. You can put your name in that place. Awake, old Isua. Praise the Lord. Bless his name. Sing praise to his name. And in verse 9 he says, I will praise you, O Lord. He called to himself to the awareness that it is God who delivered you. It is God who saved you. And because it is God who saves you and delivers you, you have no option, O my soul, than to praise this God and worship him and glorify him. You are hearing me. And hear me well that God is the one who has been in charge of your situation. God is the one who has been in, in control of your own condition. What is that condition and what is that situation? What is that evil plan men and people, even friends, have done against you? You can still look up to God who has delivered you. Yes, they would have made their plans. They would have done whatever they would do. But because it is not from the Lord, it has failed. And you know it failed. You know it will still fail. Even if they will plan again and again, I can assure you under God, it will fail in the name of Jesus. Therefore, brethren, I enjoin us like, uh, like David. We will praise the Lord among the nations. And not only amongst our friends, but amongst the nations. In the generation that is here with us and amongst us, we will praise this God. We will worship him and we will sing a loud praise to him. Sometimes we, 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 we were going on a journey and we happened to travel in the night and suddenly we ran into armed robbers. It was on a truck. I was at the top of the truck. Imagine the heaps of Storms they put on the road. Our driver came and climbed on it and the truck twisted 
this way and that way as if it was going to fall. I just imagine if that lorry had fallen, I think I would have been dead by now. But upon all of that, God delivered us. We escaped on harm. They followed, but they could not catch us. And I look at that miracle as coming from the Lord. Obviously, there's no way I would have been saved. There's no way we would have escaped those armed robbers. But God deliver us. In a situation like that, one will just exclaim, Ah, God, thank you. Yes, God deserve, deserves our thanks. God deserves our praise. And therefore, brothers and sisters, when God does something for you that is beyond the, the ordinary, even the ordinary, it is the hand of God. How much more? The one that is beyond the ordinary. Therefore, you need to praise him. You need to come to your senses and magnify this God and worship him. There's no God who is able to save his children like our God does. And the realization of this met David in verse 10 to say, For great is your love. Reaching to the heavens, your faithfulness reaches to the skies. This greatness is not only seen on the earth, on the planet earth. He does not only uh, keep vigil about us, but even the skies. God is there and ruling. He is there and exerting his leadership, his authority. Therefore, let us not be scared over anything. God is is the protector of his people. Friends, David could praise God among his own people and his own generation. You also can praise the same God in this generation, irrespective of the dangerous things that meet us in this life. We come in contact with evil every day. We come in contact with those who hate us every day and who pretend and laugh with us. And by the time you turn your back, they begin to scheme. I can assure you, God is in control. Provided our faithfulness is complete before him. If our trust is 100% before him, he knows that you do not have the power to defend yourself, to protect yourself. And therefore, God steps in to protect you. We also have seen, even in today's life, the Lord is blessing his people. God is in charge of the difficulties we are going through at this time. What are you passing through? What are you going through? The hardship you are going through. You think God does not see you? You think God does not know? He knows. He sees. And he comes inside that situation to help you. Some of us, we are passing through the strongest opposition time in our lives, the strongest of the times, of the hard times of our life. You probably have not met this situation as you are meeting it now. But I dare to tell you by the word of God, he is there. Jesus is right there with you, going through that situation with you. For he has been a man of like nature with us before he ascended into heaven. And therefore, he understands the pains, the agonies we are all going through. Can you leave those things before him? What are the difficulties? What are the temptations? What are the trials that you are going through? In our country today, we are going through lack of food. That enough is able to make us perspire and our life we get out of us how can a man wake up in the morning and he does not have food to give the family the children are crying the wife is complaining this the children are complaining that and you are faced with that situation yes the lord god is inside of it and i can assure you that he is taking charge of that situation can you leave it just before him can you just say, God, I surrender all to you. Come and take control. He is able to take control of that situation. What about the kidnappings that we, 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 we find ourselves into every day 
on a daily basis that person is taking that one is stolen that person is kidnapped and so on and so forth do you think god is not there god is still in that situation he is still with us even in that bad situation those who are under their captors in the bush where they are being kept and their lives is priced like a goat god is still in that situation I can tell you by the Spirit of the Lord that He will deliver you and He will bring you out of that situation. Yes, God is interested in you as He was interested in David. Provided our faithfulness and our obedience is complete in the Lord Jesus Christ, He will take charge of that. He will tell you, my son, I am here with you. I am here with you. I will do whatever that is good for you because I have seen your faithfulness and I will bless you. Are you looking for a job? You do not have any job? I can also assure you that God is interested in your life. He will give you a job if He wants. But remember, He will not give you what He knows will not be a blessing to you. And so many people, because they have asked God and God does not seem to answer them, they feel God has abandoned them. He has not abandoned you. Are you sure you are aware? Are you sure you know what is the, 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 the intricacies of that job that it will bring to you? You may not be aware, but God knows. And if He knows that job you are looking for is not a good one for you, He will not give it to you. He will wait until such a time something better for your life comes up and now he'll open the opportunity for you but you can see trust trust in him still he is going to give it to you at the appointed time and for those of you who are looking for admissions yes you are qualified you have a better result than those who get admission and yet you are not admitted do you think god is not there in that situation like he was with david he is still with you in that situation. And I can assure you, God is going to give you admission when He knows it is right, time is ripe and it shall be a blessing unto you. God will never give us anything that will destroy us. Yes, He can never give you anything that will destroy us. The Bible says, the gifts of God add no sorrow. And because His gift does not add any sorrow, He cannot give you anything you will regret. Therefore, I want to call on you. Who has that trouble? Are you troubled by ulcer? Are you troubled by high blood pressure? Yes, they are like enemies coming against you. And you have prayed and prayed and prayed. And nothing seems to be coming forth. Something is coming. I tell you, something is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God does not sleep. The Bible tells us that God does not sleep nor slumber. And so, because He does not slumber, He does not sleep over our cases, he will give us our heart desire as He knows best and fit for us. You are qualified even for the job that somebody who is not qualified is given. Particularly in these days that partiality, discrimination, religious discrimination is exercised against Christians in Nigeria today. And you say, God, where are you? I am qualified for this job. And this other person is not qualified because I bear your name. I am denied this job. Can I tell you, brother? Can I tell you, sister? God is aware of all of that. He is preparing something better for you. So do not be perspired. Do not be discouraged. Do not be, 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 be broken. The Bible assures us that God worketh all things good for those who trust him. And he is working and preparing something greater for you. We saw David in verse 10 says, For great is your love, reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Do you think if you are faithful and serving God faithfully, he will not remember you? He will. God does not refuse to remember those who love him. And all that he asks is a complete obedience. That is what he asks for. If our obedience is complete, he will definitely rise up for you. In verse 11, 
the writer says, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. How can God be exalted above the heavens? It is we, you and me, that have seen the greater things God has done in this world for our salvation. It is us who will lift up his name in exaltation. It is us who will praise his name above the heavens. It is us who shall sing this praise unto him. And David says, for me, I will praise you, O Lord. What about you? What will you do? What about you, my sister? What will you do? Having seen all the great things God has done for you. We just finished Easter and we saw the, the, the Passion Week. We saw the things Jesus did for us and what they achieved for us at the cross of Calvary. He went to the cross. He went under the, under the earth to the grave and he rose victoriously. And you think he cannot do this? If God has power over death and the grief, I can assure you he has power over any situation that is around you. God is able to do that. He only seeks for a man. He seeks for a woman who, by the virtue of you being a child of God, will see the things God has done for you, like David saw, and praise his name and sing his praise aloud. He says, let your glory be over all the earth. Let the glory of God be over all the earth. And the glory of God can only be made manifest by us when we sing praise to him. By us when we understand what he does for us. By us when we see what God is able to do and we see do in the future. And we declare that to the people around us. The glory of the Lord will be made manifest. Are you there? Are you hearing me? Whatever condition you are going under. Whatever situation you are passing through, like David, we can look back and say, God has been our Ebenezer. And because he has been my Ebenezer, I will press him. I want to invite you. Come with me. Let us press this God. Let us worship him. For me, I will press him for the things he has done for me. Look at the salvation. Look at the protection. Look at how you, 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 you go out from your house and come back every day. You think that is your ability? You think that is your power? So many people have just gone out of their gates. They stumbled and they fell down and they died. What about you? You went out. You traveled far. You came back safely. And you will not be able to praise the Lord. I will praise him. And I believe you are desirous to praise him. And therefore, whatever situation we are going through, I have a God in Jesus Christ who is able to meet you at the point of your need, who is able to come to your aid and to your help. And he is here right now, right in your office, right in the house as you are listening to me, right where you are as a family. The Lord is able to take that situation, that problem away from you and put some praise in your mouth. The Lord has already put that in your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, it is left for you to just open your mouth and shout his praise for the glorious things he has done. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And the Lord let the light of his countenance shine upon you, my brother and my sister, because he loves you and he wants you to praise him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your glory and for the mercies you have shown us. Exalt your name. Put your praise in our mouth, in our lips, that, Lord, we will all shout the praises of our God. You have done marvelous things over our lives. You have defended and protected us, and you have saved us, O God, from things that we desire that would have destroyed us. But in your glory, in your wisdom, you kept us far away from them. We are grateful. Sanctify your people and bless your church. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. 